June is Men's Mental Health Awareness Month, and Joe is here to share how he is creating a safe space for men to talk about their struggles and support through improvement. Welcome to the show, Joe. It's great to see you. Uh, it's so awesome to be here. We are happy to have you. Okay, what is the I Love You Bro Project? I love this name. So it all came from a terrible, beautiful suicide prevention experience I had a couple years ago. And I was able to love a man off the ledge, so to speak, mm. just by saying, I love you, bro. And so I, uh, as I've gotten closer to him and think, kind of figured out how or what got him to this point, uh, I looked up what resources men have mm -hmm. for mental health and for suicide and, you know, suicidal ideation, and um, there was nothing. And so it moved me to start uh, the I Love You Bro Project, which is um, a nonprofit for men's mental health, suicide prevention, and also ongoing personal development for men, specifically here in Utah. Just that one sentence, I love you, mm -hmm. is so powerful, Joe. It is. It's all I could say at the time, and it's all that I needed to say, honestly. Yeah. It's all he needed to hear. Yeah. So. Um, what specific challenges do men face when it comes to mental health and suicide prevention, in your opinion? Well, men, it's a challenging for men. It's challenging for everybody. Sure. Um, but for men specifically, there is a huge amount of thick, heavy stigma that is attached to men's, men's mental health. Um, you know, I got everything from the, you know, shut up, do your job, um, uh, provide, preside, protect. And if you can't do any of those things, um, then you are considered, you know, you feel like you're not a man. And so um, for men, it doesn't take a lot for them to go from perfectly normal to suicide um, uh, ideation. And so. Um, with men, but what challenges we still face and we're going to keep facing is just getting guys to, to show up to our programs, yeah. you know, and getting them to, you know, we have a lot of, a lot of guys who will pull up and, you know, we'll look at their phone, look at the building, look at the phone, look at the building. And there's that moment where they're like, am I actually going to get out and come or am I going to reverse and leave? And a lot of them do leave. Right, so. right. Well, how is the I Love You Bro Project addressing these challenges and making a difference in our own community here? Yeah, so I Love You Bro, we offer free support groups that are weekly. Um, we offer uh, free life workshops, I should say, where we bring in clinicians, talk about addiction, divorce, all those heavy stigma. You know, all the real subjects, life things. All the real things we're all experiencing. Uh, and then we also offer free therapy to men as well. Um, but our support groups, foundation, our support groups are like the best. They're, they're, they're what we build from. And so uh, they're places to, where we can facilitate connection and also validation. Men like to show up. They like to see, even if it's me and my stupid crying face sometimes, being that guy that we can just share socially and that's so, okay, we have permission. Sure, to, just to, to be together. And to be together and sure. to connect with other guys. Tell so. us about the event you have coming up. So we have uh, this Saturday, Together Through Fire. It's a firewalk fundraiser for men's mental health and suicide prevention. Um, we're going to have lots of amazing speakers. We're going to have some axe throwing, hot wings challenge, improv comedy, but also uh, powerful speakers who we're going to be talking specifically about suicide and, and how we can help each other. And then we have this amazing fire walk that's very symbolic, powerfully symbolic on how we can just, we'll go together. We're through every struggle. We're in this together. We're, yeah, we're in this oh, together. Oh, Joe, this is so good. So. Where can we go for more information? Uh, just go to iloveyoubroproject.org mm -hmm. and you can get tickets there. Kay. This Saturday, we'd love to have you come. Okay, so. make sure and be there on Saturday. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for all you're doing. You're amazing. Thanks Aww, for being thank here. Thank you.